Welcome to Howard Brown Barber and Beauty Institute. Today we are doing the review for Life Skills. Let's begin. In the beauty and wellness industry, as in any, any industry, life skills are considered to be all except which of the following? Having a sense of humor, acing a final exam, making good friends, becoming more organized. If you chose B, acing a final exam, you are correct. Beauty and wellness professionals should study and have a thorough understanding of life skills for all except which of the following reasons. Practicing good life skills will lead to a more satisfying and productive cosmetology career. The ability to deal with difficult circumstances comes from having well-developed skills. They work with many different types of clients and life skills can help keep interactions positive in any situation. They are routinely asked to take formal skills and assessment tests and quizzes. If you chose D, they are routinely asked to take formal skills and assessment tests and quizzes. You are correct. Which of the following is true of the beauty and wellness industry? It is at heart a medical industry. It is at heart a technical industry. It is at heart a scientific industry. It is at heart a creative industry. If you chose D, it is at heart a creative industry. You are correct. Which of the following is most important in fulfilling your potential? To be self-actualized. To be successful to have self-esteem, to master strength building. If you chose A, to be self-actualized, you are correct. When someone has self-esteem, they most likely also possess inner strength, perfectionism, physical strength, outer strength. If you chose A, inner strength, you are correct. Any recent graduate about to embark on a career in cosmetology should do which of the following to help build self-esteem? Be kind to others. Read positive affirmations, make good friends, set long-term goals. If you chose B, read positive affirmations, you are correct. If you are interested in enhancing your creativity, you should also try doing all of the following except improving your vocabulary, looking around for creative inspiration, increasing self-esteem, being positive. If you chose C, increasing self-esteem, you are correct. What does a mission statement accomplish? It establishes the purpose and values of an institution. It shows the institution's compulsion to do things perfectly. It shows the institution's conscious effort to respect others. It puts things off until tomorrow or a later date.
If you chose A, it establishes the purpose and values of an institution, you are correct. An organization's cultural pulse is often derived from that organization's short-term goals, creative capacity, long-term goals, mission statement. If you chose D, mission statement, you are correct. Once you have finished your company's mission statement, which of the following have you done? Ensured you will be full of self-esteem in your career. Made certain that your company will adhere to ethical standards. Made your company's purpose and values public knowledge ensured your company will be successful in its business. If you chose C, made your company's purpose and values public knowledge, you are correct. All except which of the following are good examples of mission statements. My partnership with her will be one that focuses on fair play and integrity. I am going to make $10 million in my first 10 years in business. We plan to make our business a peaceful and globally responsible organization. We are dedicated to pursuing a successful career with dignity and an honest approach. If you chose B, I am going to make $10 million in my first 10 years in business, you are correct. Which of the following most helps an organization to identify long-term and short-term goals? Mission statement writing, visualizing, goal setting, keeping self-esteem. If you chose C, goal setting, you are correct. Breaking up long-term goals into smaller pieces helps to make them short-term goals, ensure that they are guaranteed to happen, make them more professional, make them seem not so overwhelming. If you chose D, make them seem not so overwhelming, you are correct. All except which of the following would be considered short-term goals? To reach 75000 in sales by week's end. To invest company revenue in next spring's order. To hire two competent staffers before the busy autumn season to slowly grow the company into broader international markets. If you chose D, to slowly grow the company into broader international markets, you are correct. When you order your daily tasks on your to-do list from most important to least important, what have you just done? You've prioritized, you've increased your self-esteem, you've written a mission statement, you've procrastinated. If you chose A, you've prioritized, you are correct. You shouldn't neglect physical activity because... Exercise and recreation stimulate clear thinking. Exercise and recreation are short-term goals. Physical activity is a long-term goal. Physical activity is on your to-do list.
If you chose A, exercise and recreation stimulate clear thinking, you are correct. When designing a time management system, a beauty and wellness professional should make sure it is foolproof, has worked for others, will work for others, will work for him or her. If you chose D, will work for him or her, you are correct. Once you have become a cosmetologist, you should still never stop learning about your industry because you will always be required to attend classes. Formal schooling will always be a part of your career. Throughout your career, there will be tests and quizzes. The beauty and wellness industry never stops changing. If you chose D, the beauty and wellness industry never stops changing, you are correct. When studying, you may find that mnemonics can be useful as a learning tool because they help you through repetition, are a shortcut to recalling information, are a shortcut to recalling information, provide a way for you to stay organized, work as a note-taking tool. If you chose B or a shortcut to recalling information, you are correct. If, when studying for your next exam, you are able to recall the rules of attentiveness, creativity, and excellence by remembering ACE, which of the following have you employed in your studies? Mind mapping, acronyms, organization, repetition. If you chose B, acronyms, you are correct. If a beauty and wellness professional wishes to realize the greatest benefits education can provide, he or she should not pay such careful attention to their instructor, worry about attending every class, focus on highlighting important points, strive to have flexible goals that easily change. If you chose D, strive to have flexible goals that easily change, you are correct. Ethics are best defined as deep feelings common in all people, posted rules and regulations at the workplace, laws that regulate all industries, moral principles by which we live and work. If you chose D, moral principles by which we live and work, you are correct. You will know that someone in your industry has exhibited unethical behavior if they conceal information about products in order to sell them, stay open longer hours to attract more customers, advertise their business aggressively to consumers, price products below competitors, to sell more. If you chose A, conceal information about products in order to sell them, you are correct. Discretion is an important part of ethical behavior because most clients lie to those they do business with. You sometimes have to keep certain client information confidential. It is essential that you always take care of yourself 
first. It is not necessary to be truthful with those you do business with. If you chose B, you sometimes have to keep certain client information confidential. You are correct. If you always provide skilled and competent service to your salon clients, are honest, courteous, and confidential, keep up with new techniques, and always give accurate information about the treatments and products you offer, you will always realize your self-actualization, adhere to ethical practices, adhere to your mission statement, keep your self-esteem. If you chose B, adhere to ethical practices, you are correct. <clears throat> it should be obvious to you who among your peers embodies qualities of an ethical person because they will most likely exhibit a strong sense of motivation, savvy, drive, integrity. If you chose D, integrity, you are correct. Diplomacy is best defined by truthfulness, assertiveness, aggressiveness, tact. If you chose D, tact, you are correct. Practicing diplomacy in your career in beauty and wellness shows that you are emotionally stable, able to deliver messages in a kind way, aggressive and assertive, motivated and driven to be successful. If you chose B, able to deliver messages in a kind way, you are correct. Which one of the following is true? Your personality is the sum of your characteristics and attitudes only. Your personality is the sum of your characteristics and behavioral traits only. Your personality is the sum of your attitudes and behavioral traits only. Your personality is the sum of your characteristics, attitudes, and behavioral traits. If you chose D, your personality is the sum of your characteristics, attitudes, and behavioral traits, you are correct. This concludes this lesson. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like more information about our school, please join our community at howardbrownonline.com. Howard Brown, where learning never stops.